Hello and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. My hair is a mess today because I'm going to put two hair straightening brushes to the test. Hair straightening brushes are to be used on dry hair, as you can tell. Um, they're not to be confused with the sort of blow drying brushes, which for example Revlon make. They are designed to be easier to use and to replace your good old straightening irons, so your GHDs, your T3s, your Babyliss, all those things, which quite frankly I am addicted to and I love. So these brushes had better be good to replace them. I'm going to put two to the test. I'm going to put to the Daphne and the Iku to the test today and I'm going to do half of my hair with each and all I've done is uh, rough dry my hair and my hair is well just super annoying. If you look at it closely it's neither straight nor curly I mean I've had it up in a tie so it's kind of gone kinky. I have actually blow dried my fringe straight which is what I would do even with a straightener. So I'm going to split my hair down the middle and I'm going to see how they work. God my hair is so annoying look it's just one not one thing or the other. So here we go let's do this one first. This is the Daphne which um, D-A-F-N-I by the way which uh, you turn on it's a single temperature and you can see there the purple bit is the ceramic plates and the idea is that uh, instead of having to clamp your hair you get an even distribution of hair of heat because obviously it comes through each of the bristles bristles you turn it on it takes quite a long time to heat up actually it probably took a good two minutes to heat up and you've just got one temperature that's it matte black one temperature and this is how you use it um, essentially what you do is you brush your hair and do that. So let's have a look, let's keep going round. So just as you would use, you would use a straightener, um, I find it definitely easier to put it under my hair than over the top of my hair. And in here and down, um, and my hair is so fine actually, and I've talked about this before when I'm blow drying my hair, that actually you could, um, <laughs> I need so few sections. But actually what I love about this, it's actually pulling on my hair slightly and pulling it out slightly. I mean, not in a bad way, no more than a normal brush would. Um, but it's got good grip. Look at that, um, maybe not. Good grip, yeah. It's got just the right amount of tension. You know with a straightener sometimes you have to hold the end or use a brush with it. Obviously with this, you don't. Um, now let's go underneath and see if it works. Doesn't doesn't feel like it's getting my hair as hot as straighteners would. That's not necessarily a bad thing, seeing as I've got fine hair. Let's do that bit of kinky fringe there. I'm wondering if it would wave at the end. Let's have a look. You know where you can turn your straightness to give it a bend? Oh, look at that steam. That means my hair isn't totally dry. I quite like this. I think this might give a more modern, easy way to dry hair. I'm sorry if you can see that steam. That is literally where I haven't blow dried my hair. That was quick, wasn't it? Ooh. I think I might have found a new addiction. Right, I'm going to turn this off. That's the noise it makes when it turns on as well. So that's the Daphne. And that one is, um, I think that's 140 pounds. Yes, I think that's 140 pounds, that one. My only criticism, it just has one temperature, which obviously suits my hair quite well. And it's gone quite shiny and it's, it's got, I tell you what it, ha it has done. It's sort of given me a little bit more of a blow dry look rather than a straightened look. Now bearing in mind I'm only working on my tiny uh, monitor there, so it's not the hugest mirror in the world. And then this is the Iku. Now the Iku, I haven't even taken the label off, which says Caution Hot Service. Comes in a wide range of colors, beautiful matte black finish. And this has got an ionic um, button, so it's gonna fire um, irons at your hair to get rid of frizz and fly away, which I suffer from a lot of and a series of temperatures it goes from i've got currently got it on 190 but it goes uh from 210 230 190 back down again 170 150 okay so i'm gonna 
and it actually has got a very clever guide inside that tells you what temperature at all according to your hair type and thickness. Now technically I should be on 170, but I'm going to be naughty and leave it on 190. 170 is for chemically treated and fine hair. Right, let's try this one. Now this is different. This is far fewer bristles, and are they really bristles? They're more like little sort of fingertip prongs. Um, this one is sort of ergonomically designed to get your hands in. Very stylish, very modern looking. Um, yeah, this is almost like a toaster for your hair. Does that, that, that sounds strange, doesn't it? But it is, when you look at it from the top, it's quite clever. Let's have a go. I was really sceptical, you know, about these brushes, and I tell you why. It's because, in a way, I'm a bit of a beauty snob, and these brushes made their way to prominence and success via shopping channels and, and sort of direct marketing. They didn't really sort of come to me via stylish hairdressers or a super fabulous PR or a celebrity was using them. They've been underground for a while, um, but they, this one's got good grip as well. Slightly less grip than the other one. Let's have a look. Again, not too hot on my hair. I feel like it's damaging my hair as much as my straighteners. I mean, it's pulling them out, but my hair out very slightly, less than the other one. But then that's nothing to be worried about. That's no more than a brush would. Um, and again, it's not gripping as much. It's more of a tool than a brush, this one. Let's have a look. I somehow feel that this one might not wave my hair at the ends that well. Let's try the fringe. I always try to blow dry my fringe because straighteners tend to make it sort of terribly flat and I don't want it to be flat. Go on my little short bits underneath. It's very quick to use, isn't it? You know what I think it is? I think it's a great grooming tool. Again, yeah, yeah, another tool that's going to mean that a whole generation of women never learn how to blow dry their hair. Because these things are so clever, you've never actually learned to properly blow dry your hair. You know, I've got a friend called Debbie with very thick, wavy hair. And actually, she's going to love this. She really is. The one thing you can't do with them, obviously, which you can also do with straighteners, is you can't, I'm just doing the back with this one, is you can't... Um, you can't use them as a tong, which you can with a straightener. So straighteners technically are, or straightening irons technically are more flexible, you can get more styles with them. This one hasn't made this one so straight. Again, you see, I think it's because it doesn't grip quite as well. Now obviously what is right for my hair might not be right for your hair. As I say, I've got very fine hair, which actually, in a way, makes it quite easy to style thicker hair. That's a bit better, isn't it? Thicker hair is obviously going to be much more stubborn and harder to straighten. So, there you go. It sort of gives... Oh, let's have a look see if this one does a curve at the end as well, which is what I did with the other one last time. I suspect it won't as well. Mm, not quite as much. This is less of a brush and more of a hybrid, the Iku. But I have to say, it's a very clever range. They do a whole range of different brushes, including a really clever scalp massage brush that works on your um, Chinese meridian energy points. Um, but I think I'm going to say thumbs up to the Daphne more than this one, because I quite like the effect of the bristles on the Daphne. It's not a bad look, is it? Let's be honest, and how long did that take? Not long at all. So, all in all, Thumbs up to styling brushes. I quite like the effect. It's sort of the effect of a sort of not bad DIY blow dry really, isn't it? Um, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. I, I like the Daphne because I like the way it grips my hair and it is more akin to a brush. So you're getting, I think in my opinion, a more even distribution of heat. Cools down quite quickly, this one's already turned off. Um, all in all, thumbs up. And a lot cheaper than the average straightener as well. Bearing in mind you're spending sort of 200 pounds for a decent pair of straighteners now, I wouldn't replace my straighteners with them. But you know what? I think I'd put them on my Christmas list. I'm impressed. Tell me what you think if you've ever used one as well. Um, my hair is more fine, fly away and frizzy, but I think it's smoothed it well and I think it looks quite shiny rather than being straightened. But in a way that 
be, might be who they're designed for. So thumbs up, put it on your shopping list. Tell me what you think about them. Tell me if you've tried any others that are cheaper and work just as well. And I'm going to put the links below on where you can find these and exactly how much they cost. Um, and I think now they're pretty much available on the high street and in websites quite widely. And as I said, they started on sort of shopping channels and obscure sort of, you'd see those sort of advertorials that pop up on a Saturday afternoon on TV, which is why I think a lot of beauty experts have dismissed them because you don't see hairstylists using them. Um, but in a way, they are recreating the skill of a hairdresser at home or a hairstylist at home. Anyway, I'm the Beauty Know It All, so thank you for watching. Subscribe, let me know what you feel. I can't sort of top, stop touching it now. That's not bad at all, is it? Thumbs up. I quite like heated styling brushes.